I like the music already. Ooh, I love it. It's got like a nice chill kind of... It reminds me of the water music from um, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. It's got that kind of vibe. Oh yeah, it super has that kind of vibe. Oh my god. It's too loud. Is that a bit bad? Is that okay? How, how are we looking there? Sushi. Appreciate the the way they've done the title, the credits. There. I love a bit. I love I love a good bit of title creativity. Dave. <laughs> oh, Dave, you got here quickly. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was uh, I was on vacation, you know. So where's the sushi at? <laughs> Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. His name's Cobra. I love it. Look at the look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go on in. Uh, go ahead and go on in. Hmm, I don't have a good feeling about this. Prologue. A sushi bar by the blue hole. Okay. Try moving with elastic. Okay. Cool. Black and white snap, an aggressive carnival with black eyes and fins. Hmm, okay. Oh. 
Nice form. <laughs> All right, now how about try stretching out a bit? Try moving to the marked area. With left trigger, you can move quickly. Remember this, that this speeds up oxygen consumption. Good, looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. Now let's practice using the weapon you'll need in contingencies, the dive knife. Try using the survival knife on small fish. You can use the bee key. The bee key, oh. <laughs> well done, smooth and quick. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? Harpoon? Well, I haven't used one in a long time. Do you aim first? I haven't you? Uh, do, do you like aim or? And then, uh, hmm. looks like you'll need some practice. Let's try using the harpoon to catch, let's say, free fish. Aim with right, aim with A, and fire with right trigger. Now try it yourself. Oh shit, I just got Dory. <laughs> Blue tang. Ah, I think I should get you back on track in no time. Alright, come back to the boat. Just murdering fish. Okay, now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? Uh, right, okay, there we go. I was fiddling with my microphone a bit there. Uh, for sure, the soft meat, the, the soft meat, uh, fish meat of oily rice. Uh, oily rice? Oh man, that's just the best. Ah. Well, listen up. I have a friend who's a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He's a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper. But he has, he's, he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It is right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. The sushi sold here is made from the fresh, fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you, don't you think people will go nuts for it? Yum, I'm already craving it. Ah, I bet. So, why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but uh, I, I don't know a thing about cooking. Hello. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. Hello. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Hello. Doesn't sound too bad, right? Mm -hmm. Sounds great. So I can eat as much sushi as I want? Hello. Uh, yeah. Sure. You, you have to pay, though. <laughs> Can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant next to the Blue Hole. It's supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Hello. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. <laughs> That's X to go to the sushi bar. Okay. <laughs> nope. Hey, Pancho, are we all ready to open? Well, I mean, as you can see, it's ready just in time. Mm. Oh, it's already finished? Mm. You? Oh, you're the fisherman Cobra was talking about. Mm. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. All right. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Bancho. So, you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, uh, sea urchin. Oh, boy. Just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Hmm. Just as mediocre as I expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish just like you. How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer! My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone! Oh, the key. It's a good opening day. It's a good sign on opening day when that happens. Uh, an earthquake? Hmm, the interior is really quite a mess. Yeah, it looks like we'll have to delay the opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting that restaurant ready. I have to recover the repair costs for doing business. In this state? Ah, it's the end. In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. 
Because we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well, I have something I just caught. Only three fish. That won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go and catch seven more fish. Owen, the restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. Hmm, won't that decrease sales? You'd think it would invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? If it's, it's a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food of meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. Seems Banjo is really passionate about his work. He may not talk about, about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. <laughs> I'm Cobra. I love Cobra. I haven't seen Banjo so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. The incident? Oh, uh, uh, maybe I shouldn't have ordered it. Well, anyway, we need to go more. We need to find more ingredients. Uh, go catch seven fish first. Uh, okay, make 100 gold, catch seven fish. Can do. Can do, hooey. That one. A rainbow rasse. I already love the music. Seven fish. All right, looks like you caught quite a few. At this rate, we'll make a boatload of money in no time. <laughs> oh my, my, would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head back to the sushi bar? All right, what do we get? Uh, time, depth, okay. Okay, so it's measuring our depth. Right, okay. Cool. Wrap up the day and get things ready at Bancho Sushi. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before the dinner hours start. Our preparation's coming along. Hmm. I think we're mostly set. That's good. Uh, here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're going to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? I, I don't understand. Cobra told me there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I need to do is cook. And who else is there for that but you? Wait, I never agreed to. I never worked at a restaurant before. Ah, the guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. Okay. Here you can check your fish, crops, sources, and all the other materials you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. Okay, right. Alright, now I'll show you how to register actual items to the menu. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you have acquired earlier, so try registering that to the menu. Here we go, cardinal fish sushi. All right, that probably wasn't that hard. Setting ingredients to order supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. 
If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of the dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. A bit of umami. Now, use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. Okay, bronze or higher, silver or higher, gold or higher. Okay. That seems alright to me. How long are you going to stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Hmm, have you perhaps poured green tea before? Yeah, I've been I've been craving a bit of sushi. I love a little, I love a good bit of sushi. I, I it's been quite a while. This is the last time I had. At least that I can remember. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's been a while. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> no, only soft drinks. I think. <sighs> I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. Pour the right amount. Well, sometimes customers will order drinks, right? Pour the green tea to the right amount. Oh, shit, okay. Good. Customers who drink uh, green, who drank green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. Oh, as expected, Banjo's green tea is quite something. Hmm, that tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? Demanding as always, why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? So you gotta wait until he's finished cooking. Come over to where I am and take this food. The dash. You can dash when serving food. Use the left trigger move here. Don't forget to watch your stamina. Hello. You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. Oh, we didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. Well, it seems like such a waste to throw it away. Pacho Sushi never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Well, all right. Oh, man, I need that. Don't throw it away. Everything looks about ready. I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kind of nervous. Don't forget to press Y when filling after filling the menu for business to begin. Customers will order dishes from the menu. Don't forget to register dishes to the menu before the sushi bar opens. Got them all in. All right, let's do it. Green tea. Perfect. Yes. 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 I am going to house. What is blue and not very heavy? How Light blue. Do it for you. I, 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 oh, okay, there's a bar that up. Cool. Oh, shit, no. Oh, no, I gave it to the wrong guy. Ah, oh, fuck. Quick, hurry, hurry, I gave it to the wrong person. So if they've got zero, do I just... I don't know if I just take it off the menu or if, it, no, if people just won't order it, basically. Dish. What's this? 
Close of the day. Bancho, Bancho Sushi Close. Run in a sushi place and dive in for sushi. <laughs> Uh, today's score, five stars. Nice, you earned Artisan's Flame. Top sales, Rainbow Rassi Sushi. All right. Uh, net profit, we need a net profit of 60. <laughs> Ooh, work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. Mm, you were a bit clumsy, but uh, not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. <laughs> a man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. In any case, a toast opening of Bancho Sushi. PPL Express. What the heck? Oh! Uh-oh. Krakens. Big old squitters. <laughs> Big old squitters! Ellie's calling. Hmm, are you the man who's been diving around here? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think so. Oh, I was expecting a more professional looking guy. Yeah, I can hear you, you know. In any case, uh, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I'm studying biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate my other after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Well, okay, um, so what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Uh, give me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to just ask for one of each. Uh, give me two of each. Your tone uh, makes me want to refuse. <laughs> mm, I've got a reward, but uh, if you don't want to, that's fine by me. Uh, a reward? Well, I, I wasn't refusing. I was just saying, you know, you could ask more nicely. In any case, uh, please hurry. Don't dally. All right, uh, smartphone. You can use phone to access various types of content. Check your current missions and more. To do, pay Bancho Sushi, get red ecological data. Guess I need to get more fish so we can have, uh, do more stuff in the evening. Main sub, okay, VIP missions. He goes stuff. Zero. Oh, it says like the depth are right as well. Zero to fifty. Zero to hundred fifty. Oh, cool. It's uh cool. Call people. What is it? You you want to learn to cook, perhaps? No, oh, I just came to see if you needed any particular ingredients. A master chef can cook of any ingredient. I'll show you the best food possible, regardless of what you bring me. Just bring me lots of it. I like him. I. What happens if I call Kobo and he's right right next to me? What's the, what's the point of calling when you're so close? It's a waste of phone fees. Talk to me in person. Oh, okay. I was hoping he'd say something like that. <laughs> get a 10% discount and get going in Mambo Air. Hello, this is Mambo Air. You just want to get away from it all this summer for a vacation? Well, Mambo Air is here for you. Please use the promo code below when purchasing your ticket. Learn to fly. Mambo Air. Cool. Number one best diving spot, Fissel Gorn. Hello, this is Diver City, a friend of all divers. Today I'd like to introduce you to Dahab, Egypt, where a British transport ship with a name meaning Blue Thistle was wrecked. The shipwreck, which sank to a depth of 30 meters, is a spectacular sight, but amazingly, you can even tour the inside of the ship. What are you waiting for? The mystery of the Red Sea awaits you. Tour inquiries. Ooh, can we, like, put in that number? 6419796698. No, no I, don't, I can't actually just call the number. Oh, that's a shame. Movie Wonder. Octopolar coming soon. Hello, this is Movie Wonder. Here is some news that will really heat up this summer. Octopolar. In this o action flick, a mutant monster. There's a combination of an octopus and a polar bear. 
It's a robot polar bear. What? Attacks the city to be released soon. Epic city battles and realistic monsters coming to the big screen. Half octopus, half robot polar bear. What the f I want to watch it. Do you want to be rich? Oh shit, it's Rich Maker. He's going to make us rich. Do you want to buy nice cars? Wear fancy clothes? Getting rich is easier than you think. Click the button below now. Shh, it's a secret. Well, I mean, I got it. It's going to make me rich. Oh, I just got malware. <laughs> I got scammed. Man, I thought he was going to make me rich. I hope at some point I find out now I've got, like, malware on my phone. Sunny, sunny, sunny. Okay. Ooh, 32 degrees. Are we looking Fahrenheit or Celsius right now? <laughs> I'm assuming... Celsius. No, yes. I mean, if it's if it's this temperature and it's 32, I'm, I'm assuming it's Celsius. I, if it was Fahrenheit, yes, that would be pretty fucking different. Celsius would make a lot more sense. Ooh, cool. play at the moment. Calculator. 9 times 9 equals 81. <laughs> Album. Tips. Mm. Cool. Alright. I like that. So, let's get some fish. Let's get some agar and red starfish. I feel like those sold pretty well. It's a very fucking vicious way of getting the fish, this. <laughs> Just... Ooh, is that a chest? Cheap Japanese sword. A long, sharp samurai sword. It looks as though it might be imbued with a warrior's hatred. It's actually being sold for cheaper than Nightmare. I think sea urchins can be picked up with these gloves. So sure as I'm pointing them. Okay, can I knife them? No. Uh Quite deep, it looks to get like the ah! Oh, fucking god! I didn't see that stupid white thing. Uh, can I? Can I? Uh, can I save the silver bowl? Yeah. 
Ow. Okay. Let's not do that again. <laughs> Dave, this giant blue hole looks infinitely more dangerous than any other place. Always pay attention to the oxygen. I know there was a... Use the escape pod. Oh. I can rescue if you run out of oxygen, but you'll only be able to bring back one of the items you collected. Yeah, I know. I wasn't paying attention to the stupid blue thing. Dave, did you get loosen up? Did you get to loosen up yesterday? Hmm, I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy to go any deeper. It's a low volume air tank. Yeah, well that'll be the thing we upgrade, won't it? That'll be our progression of upgrading air tanks so we can go deeper, so we can see more stuff, so we can go deeper, so we can get more stuff, more expensive stuff. So we can find more, you know, I can see the I can see the looper happening, and it, I, I can see it being being very appealing. Hmm. I did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Perhaps something puts them on edge? Speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun in addition to the harpoon? A gun? I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. That looks like a man who likes guns. <laughs> oh, oh, Cobra, it's been a while. How's, how's this goofy-looking guy next to you? Sorry, it wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. Look who's talking. People who live in glass houses. <laughs> what's, the, what's, the, what's this about? I'd like to get straight to the point. I've begun a very interesting business. <laughs> and now I need in, I'm in need of weapons, Duff. I need your help. Hmm. Huh, season two of Strathella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. <laughs> so, you're lucky my anime has ended or I will not be helping you. All right, I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Yeah. Oh, that's rather interesting. You've piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This, this, uh, this will especially true of guns, uh, which have precision parts. Hmm, so we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. Huh, Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this master of death. I'm not sure why I should prove, have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I think I'll need one rope uh, and one scrap iron. You hit him, right, Dave? Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Always keep that in mind. All right, this time let's not do that again. Let's not hit that stupid white things again. Can't get those with these gloves, as he said. Can't shoot. Ah, red starfish, nice. And 
D. Is there a tank HUD thing? Oh yeah, there is. It's under me. Uh, I'll switch around stuff. Wait a minute, you'll slow down. If you exceed an even high, you won't be able to carry anymore. Oh, interesting. Okay, so you can go over. Right, okay. Let's uh, let's just go back up. I think it says stuff breaks when it comes out, so I guess it'll probably break. Hmm, you actually brought them back. Well, I guess I expected too little of you. All right, this should do for now. I'll give you a reward for as promised, since you helped me do my research. The sudden ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. Gold, olive oil, soy sauce. Nice. You've go, Dave. You collected a hundred gold. Great job. This should be enough to repair what's broken. Then give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming. We had a new we've got a new best depth, which is pretty good. Up your day and get things ready at Banjo Sushi. Okay, let's uh, go back to Banjo Sushi. What's what's in here? Ah, interesting. So yeah, whatever you have gets replaced and you get lost when you come back out. Use the craft weapons. Probably ready to be from Rex. Silver bowl. Let's try selling it at the Cobra shop. Paint. Oh. Big wave. Oh, I want big wave on that. Looks great. It's a fat. It was a fast paint. Banjo sushi. Banjo is currently. Uh, Okay, 
actually. Alright, Benjolia. Banjo Sushi. Uh, man menu. Let's get our food on the menu for the day. Ooh, yeah. Interesting. So if I don't use up So if I if I if I put them all out then what's there will be thrown away. So it's not like the best idea to Oh. Oh for fuck's sake, you're kidding me. <laughs> okay, never mind. I didn't realize I was gonna throw out the stuff when I took it off the menu, but okay. I'm really confused then. Is it good to fry out? Is that what doesn't matter? Live and learn, you know? Uh, so, is it a good idea to like put them all out? Or do I just want to put like some out? And then just auto supply? Auto supply ingredients for the dish, I guess. Three yellow tangs to upgrade it. Interesting. I'm not gonna worry about that for now. I guess we'll see how this works now. I, I wish I hadn't messed up the thingy before, but I had no idea that it would just delete it. Oh well. Dish. Be able to produce food if you run out of wasabi. Uh, grill and re grind and refill the wasabi before it runs out. <laughs> 